acids or alpha hydroxy acids can occur naturally. For example, glycolic acid is found in sugarcane and lactic acid is found in milk, or they can be manufactured in the lab. AHAs affect the way our skin's outermost layer forms by dissolving the bonds between skin cells, encouraging exfoliation. Now, I'm a fan of chemical exfoliation rather than physical, as I find it delivers more precise and controlled improvements in skin texture and tone. In stronger concentrations, they may also have an effect on the skin's deeper layer of the dermis, stimulating the production of collagen and water-holding sugar molecules like hyaluronic acid. They also function as humectants, encouraging skin hydration. So practically, this means skin is smoother, brighter, and more even toned. And finally, they also improve penetration of other skincare actives, magnifying the benefits of your regime. This is a versatile active that can be used by most, and it's safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding. Like most forms of exfoliation, this should be tuned to your own skin type. Those with thin, sensitive skin may find using an AHA two to three times a week is sufficient, especially in cooler weather. Those with thicker, oily skin will find more frequent use helpful. And it should always be combined with the use of daily broad spectrum sunscreen. As a final cautionary note, overuse of fruit acids and too many peels can take their toll on the health of our epidermis. This translates into thin, sensitive skin that's reactive. Remember, the stratum corneum forms part of our skin's inherent protection to environmental challenges, so we need to respect it.